guys what's up okay so today I'm gonna show you some products that I got from Lush this is the Lush review that I've been talking about because I showed my products in a recent haul and so I'm gonna go into a little bit of detail about the products and I'm gonna let you know what I think about them and if I like them if I don't like them what do I like about them what do I don't like about them and things like that let's get started and so the first product that <laughs> okay I should probably just I look silly I know I, this is so crazy because this is a shirt that I got like a long time ago and the hoodie it's like so long look at this so it kind of just like like if I really want it to go like incognito in a way I can just go like this so okay so I'm gonna show you the products that I got and Again, because I showed them in the haul, but I do want to show you, obviously, I have to show you the product. So, the first product that I will be talking about and is a product that I've been using for the past week or so. I use it twice a week, sometimes twice or three times a week. And it's the Mask of Magnaminty. This is a name, just in case you guys want to check it out. I'm just going to read the names that I can actually read because it, there's like tons of like medical names and things like that. But, um... Honey, talc, glycerine, seed, mentha, oil, flower extract, vanilla, fruit extract, and yeah, it kind of, it smells kind of like lemony, like it has like a lemon flavor to, uh, taste to a flavor, like a lemon, uh, taste, of, what? I bought this mask because I was going through a really hard time with my skin. I was getting a lot of, I still am actually because it's that time of month, but I was getting lots of blemishes and just, I had like troubled skin, like scars and spots and blemishes. I wanted a face mask to kind of help make my skin feel healthy again and hydrate my skin not make it like even drier than what it was because I have like combination skin so it can get quite oil oily and then it can get quite dry as well I went into Lush I did my research I went on the Lush website which is a super helpful website because it has all the different pictures not only you get to see the product itself but you get tons of reviews and then you get like a pretty detailed description of all the ingredients of what the product claims to do and all those things so I really recommend checking the Lush website did my research and this was close to 20 bucks you get a whole bunch of product you get this whole tub which is huge and it's 315 grams it looks kind of gross but it smells delicious it looks like grass pretty much it looks like this it's green and it smells so good it smells like a candy cane like that's the exact same smell like I said I use it twice or three times a week that's what the lady at Lush recommended and I've been noticing Actually, I, I am not just saying this because I bought these products or whatever, like, I've been noticing a difference. I put this mask on, you have to wash your face, it has to be so clean, then I like to use my fingers and I like to apply it all over my face. I like to concentrate on the problem areas, like pimples and blemishes and things like that, but I like to put, put it all over my face, on my forehead, my nose, my cheeks, and my chin. And then you're supposed to leave it on for about 15 minutes. I left it on for 20, which is the same thing pretty much. Didn't make my skin feel irritated or it, I felt like it wasn't, it didn't like sting my face at all. Like I felt like my skin was feeling pretty refreshed and just clean and fresh and just nice. You know what I mean? Like the same kind of... You know how when you get like chapped dry lips and you feel like crap because they hurt and then you put on like Blistex or Carmex, something that has some sort of like peppermint in it and some like healing properties and then you feel like a million dollars because it feels so nice and refreshed and you feel like it's healing and that it's like, you know, it feels so much better. I felt the exact same thing. It didn't make my skin look red. It didn't irritate it. It just it calmed it it made it feel very very soothing and just perfect so I was pretty impressed when I got it when I put it on and then after 20 minutes you're supposed to rinse it off with warm water and kind of go in like circular motions because this has like chunks of something like those like black things in the middle you can't just like rinse it off like this because it's not going to come off so you have to use your fingers very very gently don't rub it like too hard because it could potentially irritate some skins 
even though I have super sensitive skin, it didn't irritate mine, like I said. So you just have to rub it and with warm water and then rinse it off and it's going to come off. And then after that, my skin felt so smooth and soft. My blemishes, they seemed like they were improving. They were not gone because a mask is not supposed to just make blemishes disappear out of nowhere, but they were not as irritated and not as red as like when they were before I put the mask on. I will definitely repurchase this because it's something that I've been wanting for the longest time and I've been trying different masks from the drugstore, just cheap peppermint masks and I felt like they were okay but they were, they were not making my skin feel like the way I wanted my skin to feel. I wanted it to feel refreshed, I wanted it to change, I wanted my skin to improve and I feel like this mask is really making my skin feel and look a lot better so I love this mask. I know that with most uh, masks you have to put it in the fridge or refrigerate the mask because it has obviously like natural ingredients like fruits and things like that and it might go bad but this one no you don't have to refrigerate this one so I just keep it in my room here and it's normal like cooling temperature it's not that hot it's not that cold and it's perfectly fine it hasn't melted anything like that so I love this one and she said that it was gonna last me like up to like three months the second product that I got which I love as well is the grease lightning and it comes like this and this is a tea tree I always say TT, a tea tree cleanser. Okay, so this is what the bottle looks like. And it says that it's our, our super effective tea tree and witch hazel gel to clear skin and remove oil. Apply with clean fingers. Rosemary, tea tree, grape, lavender, oil, hazel, and it has kind of like a oh essential oils and it has kind of like a lemony scent to it as well i love this thing i love this thing because this is the perfect the thing is that with my blemishes and things like that i would put on the clean and clear uh, mark treatment this is 100 percent salicylic acid and it's an acne medication and i really like this a lot don't get me wrong i love it but i don't have anything left anymore and this was like 10 bucks and so i wanted to try something different because i was like instead of going to the drugstore and buying the clean and clear one which it does work i kind of wanted to try something more natural because salicylic acid it can be a little bit harsh on the skin especially because I have like I said sensitive skin and acne prone skin and so it kind of makes the the blemishes look like super red and irritated and then something that hurts and uh, that's my only thing that I didn't like about this but this is kind of like the same thing I feel I don't know if it's supposed to be the same thing but to me it is this is a much more soothing fresher type of gel that can I don't know what can, you know what kind of like medication it contains but it makes the blemishes and the pimples and everything just disappear it really does I've been using this for a month or so no month no for a week or so and I like to use this at night you can also use this if you have like super oily skin you can use this kind of as like a primer it's just a clear gel so you can put this on your t-zone all over your face and it's gonna mattify your face and then you can put on your foundation so it helps you know, it's kind of like the perfect primer pretty much because it's all natural. But I love this thing again for my blemishes. So I use this at night after I wash my face with everything, with my cleanser, with, you know, after I tone my face, I moisturize my face. I like to put this on with clean fingers like it says. And I like to concentrate on the different spots. I don't like to put it like all over my face. I like to kind of use a little bit and put it right on the pimple and the problem area. And then I let it dry. I have to say it kind of I'm not gonna say that it burns but you can definitely feel like it's doing its job like it, it you can feel that your skin gets a little bit dry afterwards that's why I like to put a moisturizer before I put this on so it doesn't feel as dry but it gets rid of the pimple like I went to bed and then the next morning I woke up and I did not only notice that my pimples were not that noticeable that they were disappearing because this is not like a like a someone's calling me. It's not like you go to bed at night and then you wake up in the morning and then your blemishes are gone. 
but it is a gradual type of thing. Like you, you can see them getting smaller and smaller until they disappear, pretty much. So until they fade, and this not only gets rid of that, but this helps a lot with acne spots because I not only have acne prone skin, but I have tons of stuff from when I was a teenager and like marks and spots, and my spots are red, and so it kind of clears your skin which is perfectly it evens out the skin tone it clears the skin it, it kind of diminishes the look of the spots and the marks and everything like that so I've been loving this so much and this was 12 bucks but you do get a lot because you don't really need that much again I use a tiny bit to put it on the spot and then that's pretty much it like wherever I want to see the difference and truly recommend this it's awesome again you can use it as a primer and Awesome. I was noticing again that my skin was not feeling so good, but my hair was looking pretty dry as well. I did some research again on the website and I found this hair moisturizer because I have dry hair and because of the ombre effect that I've, that I've had for a few months, my ends are pretty damaged because this is bleach. You have to bleach the hair. And so again, I was doing some research and I found the R&B hair moisturizer. I was looking at first, I was going to buy a hair mask. I don't know why I didn't want to get something that I had to put in my hair and then wash it off after 30 minutes. I just, I didn't know if it was going to be worth it, if I was going to see a result. I just, or maybe I'll try like a hair mask someday. I love the face mask. I'm probably going to try a hair mask someday, but I just wanted something to stay in my hair, but I didn't want something to style it. I just wanted something to nourish my hair and make it better, more moisturizing, and just healthier looking. And I found this, which is perfect, which is the hair moisturizer. Revive and Balance, that's why it's R&B, which looks like this. Comes in a little tub like this. This one doesn't come in the big, oh, in the bigger size. And this one is the same price as the bigger size, like the face mask. So it was 20 for this little thing. You get 100 grams. But the reason why this is so expensive and it's such a tiny little pot is because you don't need basically like any product. You need the tiniest bit of product because a little bit goes a long way. It looks kind of like a lemony type of, it has like a lemony yellowy color and it looks like a normal cream and it smells like jasmine. It's so nice. It smells like jasmine and fruit and lemon. Oat, avocado, olive, fruit oil, coconut, jojoba, jojoba, I think it's, yeah, jojoba, orange, jasmine, and those are pretty much the ones that I can uh, pronounce. It expires on May 8th of 2013 actually, so it's a year. Wow, that's awesome. Okay, so you can use this for a year or so. But, okay, so this one, the reason why I love this thing is because you just have to use the tiniest amount. It kind of, like like you saw, it kind of looks like a gel. So you just pick up a little bit of the product. It's not sticky at all. It feels like a body lotion, kind of, and it smells delicious. You put a little bit on your fingers, and after you wash your hair, when it's when it's not like soaking wet but it has to be like freshly washed it can't be dry or I haven't tried out with uh, dry hair it was kind of like damp I used a little bit of this I scrunched it like all over my hair put it all over my hair and then I let it dry and I have curly hair and my curls looked so pretty like so bouncy healthy and glowy and shiny my hair looked and I've had it for a few days because I need to take a shower and wash my hair but I don't know if you guys can see like the shine that it gives. It kind of gives you like a really nice shine because it's not like a shiny, like an oily type of hair. You know, when you see oily hair, you're like, okay, you have to wash your hair. But this is like a shiny, healthy kind of hair and it smells delicious. It still has that jasmine smell to it. And I just, I feel like, I feel like my hair is becoming like healthier now and it, it's more glowy and shiny, you know, and it's just, it's exactly what I wanted. I wanted something, it doesn't feel sticky, it feels like normal hair, it doesn't feel like I have product in my hair. This, you don't have to rinse it off, you don't have to put it in the fridge. All of these things, I keep them in my room and that's it. So, I don't know what else to say about this thing. I just, I love it. I really recommend the R&B thing. And as far as products that I do want to try out, because I'm becoming more of like a, like I said, like I've 
I'm obsessed with blush now. I went to get the Full of Grace Serum, which is like a, it looks like a soap, but it's a serum because I've heard amazing reviews about, about that product, that it really moisturizes the skin. I don't have a serum, actually. I don't use a serum, and I've been trying to buy a serum. I want to start using one at night and in the mornings, but the serums that are the best ones are always so expensive, like from Dior or YSL or this or that, and so I kind of, I want to start with that, you know? It's like it's 12 bucks and it's kind of like a soap and you rub it and then you put it on your face. And it moisturizes the face, it prevents wrinkles and aging and all of that, so I'm sure it'll be amazing, just like these products. I wasn't expecting these products to be so good like I said because I wasn't a Lush fan I had just the lip scrub and my shower gel which is almost out and so I really wasn't that into Lush but now I'm like in love with their skin stuff and with their hair stuff and I can't wait to try out more things I really noticing a difference in my skin and I am so glad that I finally found some products that are working for me because I've honestly you guys I've gone through so many things like being a teenager um, my mom she used to take me to the dermatologist all the time like every week I used to get so many like treatments and they were so expensive I got laser like the um, peeling type of treatment the one that they burn your skin when I had like terrible acne they would put needles on my on my face to with some sort of medication like they would inject the pimple and it was so bad it was so painful but it worked until I got like again acne so I've had I've taken like Accutane I've gone through so many things I've bought so many products from so many brands and nothing really has worked that well and so far it's been like a week and I am so impressed with the results I feel like my skin is getting a lot better I want to make it clear I want to make it look clear and beautiful and glowy and natural and I still have a long way to go because I still get blemishes and things like that but I do feel like this is controlling those things and it's kind of making them just it, it, they don't look like so obvious you know what I mean like they, they're starting to really work and show the true magic of the products and what they claim I am just so excited with the hair too like it's crazy I feel like I've I feel like kind of like a hair treatment like a conditioning treatment at a normal hair salon would be I don't know like 50 bucks or something like that maybe even more I don't know I've never been to a hair salon here but I'm so glad it's just a little tub and you just have to put it in your hair and that's it so that is pretty much it that's my review on the lash products that I got and I will keep you posted on all the lash products that I get in the future if I like them if I don't like them because I'm sure there's products that I don't that I'm not gonna like when I try out you know what I mean I'm not saying that all the lash products are amazing but so far so good I've been like super impressed with them and yeah that's pretty much it so hopefully you guys liked this video and if you have any concerns any questions just let me know in the down bar and i would love to just you know give you an answer for that if you guys have troubled skin too i would love to talk to you about it and just different people have different skin types and different skin problems and so different products are going to work for them so yeah so hopefully you guys liked it and i'll see you guys in my next video bye